This short video is brought to you by Rothstein Guitars and we'll show you how to install our high quality copper shields uh, in a Strat. These shields are available uh, for Strats and now for Jazz Masters. These high quality noise canceling copper shields will actually go a long way in minimizing hum. Uh, pretty easy to install, pretty inexpensive, so again we're going to go over pretty simple stuff how to attach it to your pick guard and get it all mounted and ready to roll. Tools that you will need to do this will be some kind of spray adhesive. I happen to like 3M Super 77. Something, some kind of tool to puncture the holes, the pickguard holes. Some kind of uh, X-Acto blade uh, to, to cut out the potholes and, and the hole for the five-way switch. Uh, and then you'll need something to clean it. Uh, I, I would recommend naphtha uh, and some kind of rag. An optional tool would be um, the uh, like a rolling pin, but, but you really don't need it, but I, I like to use that. First thing you'll need to do is uh, spray it. Like I said, I like to use uh, 3M Super 77. You could use anything though, not a big deal. Just gonna spray it. You don't need to lay it on thick. You could just do a light coat and you're ready to roll. Okay, next thing you do is just drop it onto the pick guard. Line it up as best you can. You can always move it around a little bit while the glue is still a little wet. There you go. All right, what you wanna do is just take a little paper towel and rub it with your hands just to get it reasonably flat, just like that. All right, next thing you'll do is mark the holes and then actually puncture the holes. So you just take, uh, I have this little old oil here, you could just kind of mark it. Uh, all right, so just really marking marking the potholes, if you can see. All right, the potholes are, are right here, okay? Uh, all of this, the holes for the five way, all of the whole pick art holes, I should say. Uh, as well as the holes for the five-way switch. So here's your five-way switch. Uh, you may not be able to get this thing in by the five-way switch. You can just take your X-Acto blade uh, and mark that. Then what you'll do is flip it over. You can see all the holes are pretty much marked. And then just take this and poke it. Okay, it'll only take you a few minutes to poke out the holes. All right, you can see that all the holes are punctured. Now we have these larger holes for the pots and the five-way switch. And really, that's what you use the X-Acto blade for. Okay, so I'm just going to take the X-Acto blade and just cut away. It's very easy to cut away at the material. Okay. And you can see that it's this is how you do it. All right, this next step here is, is totally optional. Uh, what you can, you certainly do want to flatten it out a little bit, but what I like to do is take a rolling pin and get it nice and flat. Just a couple of rolls with a rolling pin is really all you'll need. And the last thing will be to clean off some of that glue. So there will be a little bit of residue of glue, uh, you know, around the pick guard. So the easiest thing to do is take some napkin and a rag, and it'll come right off, no problem at all, just right around the edges. All right, and now this is an all-purpose cleaner. And there you go. You are now ready to mount your pick pickups and uh, pots into this.